Good morning, and we're going live. Give me a thumbs up, Merriman, when we're, we're hooked to all of our possibilities. Give everybody just a couple of moments to join us this morning. Beautiful Monday morning. Hope everybody had a chance to have a little meditation time, a little exercise this morning. What a great Monday morning. The sun shining here is just beautiful. Get my vitamins. I'm on my shake. Everybody ready? Let's jump in. First thing I'd like to do is share with everyone something that I wrote while I was on the airplane. Excuse me. At the hotel. This was on a Friday morning. Paul and I had the privilege last week of being deeply involved in a leadership conference on Thursday and Friday. What a great experience with amazing people. Being able to share leadership principles and life principles and doing a, a team DNA report for Habit Finder for several hundred people. That was just delightful. On Friday morning, I've been reflecting on our last Monday call. I want to share this with you before we jump into today's call because it, it puts in words what I was trying to say over our call last week. It says, dreaming is not about buying things or traveling to places we can currently afford. That's a really key piece. Dreaming is all about reaching beyond where we are to new places and new heights that will require us to stretch and grow and become all that we were meant to be. Dreaming causes us to consider the changes we may need to make to become that person, the person who can create that outcome. Changes in our habits of thinking, changes in our daily actions, and ultimately changes in the results we're creating. And here's a key. As income increases, we are all tempted to push toward our dreams faster and faster. If that is by working longer and harder, we'll want to consider if that's sustainable. If it's by creative financing, we we'll want to be careful that we're not trying to prematurely experience the desired outcome in exchange for mortgaging our future energy and the risk of receiving a multiple year sentence in the financial penitentiary. We want something so badly, we're willing to just go into debt. That's a nice way of saying it by exchanging our, and mortgaging our future energy. Dreaming is about creating, not getting. Dreaming is less about the destination and more about the journey of becoming. Dreaming is a sac sacred process in which a human being can partner with the divine and taste the joy that comes from unleashing one's potential. <coughs> Maybe we can post that for everybody on this uh, call so everybody can have a copy of that just to reflect on it. It's been guiding me this last couple of days as I've been considering possibilities in terms of dreams. Again, we don't just, if we could buy it, we don't need to dream about it. We just start executing the creation of it. But part of the dreaming is creating the resources necessary to begin that process. So let's not forget that piece to stretch and grow. Now, there's a topic that's been on my mind over the weekend, in addition to that clarification and dreaming. And it's gratitude. And we hear about the word gratitude all the time. But I had an experience, a personal one, Saturday morning. I just wanted to share with everyone. I had a phone call with a former coaching client who wanted to re-engage with us. And it was just the most delightful call. And as I was listening, he shared his gratitude for the contribution I had made in his life and in his relationships and in his business. And <laughs> I thanked him and I hung up and I just sat there for a minute. And I got to tell you, I got really emotional. I didn't realize how much I needed to have someone say to me how grateful they are for the service that I give. I gladly give it. I find joy in that process, as I'm sure you do. But here was the secret. 
if I needed that, how much does everyone else in our lives need that? Today, as we reflect on gratitude, we might reflect on our health. We might reflect on our relationships or our children, spouses, uh, uh, businesses, the success we've enjoyed. We might be grateful for things and relationships. Could we go to the other side of gratitude, just turn it around and make it a reflection on everyone who's touched our lives? And reflect on whether or not it might serve them to hear from us about what they've done to bless our life. Who in your life would fit that category? As a result, Ramona and I had the sweetest several hour conversation last night. It was just awesome. So grateful for her and all that she does to make what we do possible. So supportive, so kind, so generous. Reflecting on my parents who have both passed. And sometimes we reflect on our parents with all the things they didn't do versus how well they did under the circumstances. Both of my parents were chain breakers coming from very difficult life circumstances. They did the very best they can do. Now, I happen to believe they're kind of still around <laughs> and expressing gratitude to them certainly isn't in vain. School teachers, professors, business leaders. Mm, I cut off a call on, I think it was Saturday morning early and had a great conversation with a friend. I got off the phone. I said, you know, I really need to tell him how I feel about him as a human being sent a text message to him, voice text, so you could hear my voice. It felt good to send it. It opened up something. And the fact that none of us are alone, we don't get to where we are by ourselves ever. And who is the wind beneath our wings? Who is giving us that kind word of encouragement? Who has shown up the best they can and given us all they have even though without gratitude, we may resent all we got. Who might fit into that category? Could we this morning make a list of those people? And what would happen if we just spent some time today with a little voice text, Marco Polo, email if necessary, a phone call if you can do it, and just express gratitude Think about all the things they've done. Because one thing I know, and that is we all do a lot of good things. And sometimes we don't even think about them. We certainly don't value them. And as an individual, we have a tendency to be a little tough on ourselves, reflecting on our mistakes, the things that didn't go well, <laughs> that we wish were handled differently. And imagine in that space, someone there today hears from you about the good they've done that impacted your life. What could that do for someone today who's being a little rough on themselves, just feeling like they haven't been able to do everything they're supposed to do and they're falling short and, and all of a sudden they hear from you. Remember when? I sure valued that. That was such a wonderful moment. I was reflecting on it this morning, and I just wanted you to know how much that impacted my life. Could we do that today? You'll have so much fun. Don't worry about sounding sappy either, because sometimes we just don't let this loose. <laughs> it's like we're hanging on to it. Like if we let them know, you know, what, what is it going to hurt if we really share with someone how deeply grateful we are for them? What are we afraid of? 
And don't worry about being a little sappy, a little emotional. Because if you truly get in this space and you truly reflect on that phrase, that word, that moment, that service that impacted your life, it's going to bring a richness to your day. And I promise you it'll bring a richness to theirs. Could we do that today? Let's meet this day with a, a really special form of agape love. Not just focusing on another person and listening until they feel safe and their wall coming down and their energy and cooperation flooding out. Let's practice an agape where we see the blessing they are in our life and we communicate it. Can we do that today? I know this sounds just kind of simple, but sometimes it's these simple things that can bring richness to us and put everything else into proper perspective. Let's greet this day with love in our heart by focusing on another and the value they have brought to us. Let's do that. Let's create the very best day for them and do that a few times a day and see what it does to you. Thanks, everyone. Have a blessed week.